Hello guys, time for scary videos that you can simply not watch alone. On the evening of May 29th, 2018, a man was relaxing in his home when he began to hear unusual sounds coming from the basement. Initially, he suspected that a squatter might have secretly taken up residence in his home without permission. However, still uncertain, he decided to investigate further. What he discovered was far more terrifying than he could have imagined. Doing this cabinet crown, and I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. Hello? 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 Anybody here? Upon reaching the basement, he found no sign of anyone there. Strangely, the lights began to flicker on and off, despite the light switch being visible and untouched. It was at this moment that the man realized he was not dealing with an intruder, but rather something more sinister, an entity of the paranormal nature. Determined to get to the bottom of the situation, he continued his search, though his skepticism was quickly fading. Hello? Hello? Who is it? To his shock, the basement door inexplicably swung open, despite no one being there. As he approached to inspect, the door suddenly slammed shut behind him. The lights began to flicker once more, this time so intensely that it caused the man to drop his phone in fear. What happened next was even more chilling. The phone, lying on the floor, started spinning as if it was being manipulated by an unseen force. The man, now thoroughly terrified, decided he could no longer stay in the house. He moved out a week later and since then has experienced no further paranormal occurrences. In this deeply unsettling video from May 18th, 2022, a woman named Leticia experienced something truly eerie while staying alone in her Airbnb, or so she thought. The incident occurred around midnight when she was abruptly awakened by a noise she could have never anticipated. Let's dive into the footage.
Although convinced she was alone, Leticia was startled by a scream that seemed to emanate from within the Airbnb. Initially paralyzed by fear, she hesitated to move, but eventually she gathered the courage to investigate. Despite thoroughly checking the apartment, she found nothing out of the ordinary. The mystery surrounding the recording remains unresolved, leaving us to wonder, was it a prank, a noise from outside, or something far more sinister? Now, back to the house of user WinMCPix, who also is dealing with a malevolent shadow figure, and who has blessed us today with some new updates. I am home alone, I'm hearing my own voice upstairs, the door won't stop knocking, and there's nobody there. This door keeps banging, I thought I was hearing my voice, I, nobody's there. Go away! Ooh, that was right over my shoulder. Who's, uh, I'm, I'm giving you one chance to leave. I know what you're doing. Stop. It's not scaring me, it's not scaring anybody else. You need to leave now. Yeah, I got a feeling you're in this room, aren't you? Are you in here? Oh. Ah, this again, okay. All right, if you're gonna play these games all night, I'm not gonna play, I'm not doing this. And now I hear the bathroom water on. Good grief. Get out! So, do you think this activity is demonic? This video was shared by a man who states that he as well is experiencing some inexplicable and scary activity in his new home. This night he wanted to document the encounters for his family and so he started recording. <laughs> An unidentified creepy shadow face was captured in the reflection of the mirror and the man had no idea where it came from. Since he was alone at home, was it something paranormal? In this intriguing video, recorded in the children's ward of a hospital, we see a young patient named Leah, who is visited by her mother, Sydney. At first, everything appears normal, with the nurse chatting pleasantly with the mother, before eventually leaving the room to give them some privacy. What happens next, however, is anything but ordinary. Another nurse enters the room. Okay, go. <laughs> who is it? It's so weird. Is it you? Me? It's not me. It's motion sensor. There's no one over there. Maybe okay, do it one more time. Do it one more time. Please. <laughs> okay. One last time. You... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so are we friends now? Can you do it again if we're friends now? Oh. We're not friends? You don't like me? 
Okay. Are you a doctor? Are you a... <laughs> Wait, so do it again if you're a doctor. I don't know. But what makes this encounter strange is that their questions seem to be answered by an unseen presence. Even more bizarre, the answers reveal that this presence was once a doctor. What's particularly eerie is that neither Leah nor Sydney seem disturbed by the fact that a ghost appears to be communicating with them. Leah, curious and amused, begins asking the spirit more questions, trying to piece together its appearance when it was alive. Are you a guy or girl? So do it. Do it. Okay. Okay, so do it if you're a guy. If so, do it if you're a guy. Turn it on if you're a guy. No. Nope. So you're a girl. You're a girl. Are you? A, so she's a girl. Yippee. Let's see. Hi, do you have a bracelet? Or, just want to make sure she has a bracelet on. Yeah. You're good. So, double checking. You're a girl. Yes, oh, maybe? She got scared of the nurses. It's okay. The nurses are gone. I promise. <laughs> so, she's a girl. And just for show, let's see if it comes on right here. Okay. I'm right here. Okay. Nothing. So now let's see. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, I should ask what color her eyes are. Yeah, I can um, play a game. So do okay. Got to play a game, okay? So do it if your eyes are blue. <laughs> Oh. Wait, so your eyes are green? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hair color time. Um, Peeps, are, are you seeing this? Are you blonde? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's red hair. You have red hair? Like my friend? You have red hair? You have red hair? <laughs> you have red hair? That was creepy. What do you mean creepy? How did Biba guess it? Yeah, it is creepy. Do you think it's crazy that my friend guessed it? No. You think your hair color is common? <laughs> Are you scared of the nurses? You don't like the nurses? I'm sorry. I promise that they're only going to come back for my x-ray or MRI or whatever. Are you going to come with me during my MRI x-ray thingy? <laughs> You're going to be with me? To her delight, she discovers that it had green eyes and ginger hair, which makes her giggle. However, the mood shifts when Leah asks if the ghost disliked the nurses. The tap suddenly turns on, indicating that the answer is yes, a chilling response, especially given that the spirit claimed to be a former doctor. Sydney speculates that the ghost might be haunting the nurses, while some viewers dismiss the event as a simple sensor malfunction. Determined to prove them wrong, Sydney continues to engage with the spirit. Why?
After spending about 20 minutes with the ghost, Leah decides to call her dad on Snapchat to share the experience. They start by asking the ghost to demonstrate its ability by turning the tap on and off. You wanna play another game? Yes. Or no. Okay, just watch my camera, okay, Dad? <laughs> watch your camera, baby. Watch my camera, okay? okay? It's a friend. We have a friend in the room. Have you have you always been with us or stayed at this hospital? Are you in the hospital? All the time? So we just met? Do you like to say hi to other kids when they come? Are you scared of the nurses? Did the nurses scare you when they came in the room? It's, no, he doesn't like to be on camera. It's a no, girl. Scared. It's a girl. How dare you? We asked. So you're a girl, no, right? She doesn't like See? to be on camera. Well, the camera can't see her. She has red hair and green eyes. Yes? Red hair, green eyes? No, she has blue eyes. Oh. Yeah, see? <laughs> Wait, did you say blue eyes? You're scaring your dad. Do you like to scare people? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has. Wait, so she has blue eyes? Do you have blue eyes, yes? Or do you have green eyes? Blue eyes? She blink in the lights. Hmm. Was she blink in the lights? No. Do you see the water, baby? The faucet. Oh yeah. Wait. So can yes. you flicker the lights or no? Uh huh. But her dad, seeking stronger evidence, suggests that the ghost should flicker the lights instead. Leah complies, asking the ghost to dim the lights. And sure enough, if you slow down the footage, the lights can be seen dimming in response. So, what do you think? Could this truly be the work of a ghost? Or is there a more rational explanation behind these strange occurrences? Let me know your thoughts. This video was posted to a not further disclosed profile, but it is said that this was shared by a concerned mother who heard her son screaming one night. As she walked into the room, nothing seemed out of place, but then she took a look at the security camera footage. The boy seemed to be playing with an invisible force that then pushed him on his back, which then made the boy cry and the mother intervened. If this was something paranormal is unknown, but the mother states that she is watching her son like a hawk from now on. The man in the following video believes that something paranormal is going on in his home in these other recordings. A person's been detected in my house six minutes ago. 
It says someone was here. Look. There's there's nobody here. Uh Yeah, there's no one here. I don't I noticed yesterday there was people detected too. And so I checked the cameras on yesterday's video. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright. Here, check this out. Look, no one. And then watch. Watch. Watch this. And then it just disappears. And then I check the second camera in the room. And check this out. Look. The shadow right there. But there's no person. I don't know what to say. This was not his own shadow. So do we have to assume that something evil had entered? Who knows? Here's a truly bizarre video featuring a man recounting his experience of being haunted and things quickly take a strange turn. You know, it's normal house noises. Um, and then a couple of voices I've heard. It's kind of freaking me out though, you know? At first glance, there doesn't seem to be anything unusual. The man is simply sharing his story. If we zoom in on a skeleton figure in the background, its head inexplicably tilts to the left, despite no one else being in the room. This eerie moment occurs just a minute into a 20-minute video, and the unsettling events only escalate from there. Suddenly, the door swings open on its own, adding to the creeping tension. As if that wasn't unnerving enough, the door then closes by itself as well. The man insists that he was alone in the house during this time, making the situation even more puzzling. Could it have been a strong breeze? Or perhaps something beyond the grasp of human perception? Many lean toward the latter explanation.
Hey, hey, stop. He approached the closet to close it, understandably perplexed by what had just happened. But as he did so, he suddenly heard the sound of footsteps creeping toward the room he had just left. Given that his wife was home at the time, he initially thought it might have been her walking upstairs, and perhaps he had simply misinterpreted the noise. However, later that day, his wife came downstairs, mentioning that she had been napping during that time. If she was truly asleep, then no one should have been making those footsteps. Chilling indeed. Now let's look into the haunting of Marvin Caguas. Marvin writes on his channel that his house has had a lot of paranormal activity occurring but it never appeared to him to film until recently. In this first video, he wrote that one of his niece's toys turns on by itself, so he decided to pull out his camera and head downstairs. Let's take a look. Alvin. In this video we see the child's toy that is seemingly activated by the spirit. This prompts Marvin to check all around his house. Everything seems calm around the house, but take a look when he re-enters the dining room. He notices that the chandelier is swinging, although nobody was in the room. Understandably, this scares the man, who runs off and that is where the video cuts off. The next video that Marvin took in his home is even freakier. Marvin wrote, I was showing the night vision on the Xbox One. When I later watched the video, I realized a figure in what appears to be a mist of some sort on the upper right portion of the screen. While I was filming, I did not notice it. So, right now, it's completely dark in this house right now. All you can basically see is my Xbox One controller. I'm gonna switch on the night vision for you guys. As you can see, it's just, it lights up the whole room. It's actually a pretty cool feature. Um, I, I don't know if they have an app for this or, or not, but uh, they also have this uh, version of the camera app. I don't know what it is. I think it's either infrared or something like that. And then uh, back to dark. As you can see, all you can see is my Xbox controller. And then back to night vision. It's actually. In the top right corner of the living room, we can see a very strange figure floating up towards the ceiling. This shadow could not possibly come from Marvin, since he's not moving in that way at all. He states that his family firmly believes that this is a shadow figure and is also responsible for the objects moving around in the house. Do you think this is a true haunting? Let me know your opinions in the comments. This was captured by a man who had just moved into a new apartment together with his pup. He didn't trust his dog fully yet and therefore had a home security camera set up for the times when he had to leave him alone for a few hours in the evening. When the man came back this night, he had to witness this bone-chilling recording.
As the camera seemingly is tumbling over, a grim image of a man is being captured, with two black holes for his eyes. Which begs the question if the owner of the dog might have moved into a haunted apartment with a scary spirit still living in there. Is this possible? If you are afraid of water, this next video might freak you out. Uploaded by Voided One. This video was taken during a water rafting ride at an amusement park. In the video you can hear all the people yelling and having a great time. Everything seems totally normal. After getting home from the park, however, the person filming realized they caught something strange in the water behind the raft. As the raft exits the tunnel, we can see something in the water drifting along behind the group. It's pretty terrifying to see anything floating under the surface in a water ride. However, this figure looks pretty human, which is even more unsettling. As you can see in the video, apparently there was a child that drowned on this ride five years ago. Some viewers think this is possibly her, trapped and haunting the location of her death. Others are saying this might be clothes that fell into the water. Or merely a large fish. Either way, this video is very creepy in my book. The following videos were shared by Haley Moore, who ever since sharing these eerie recordings seems to have vanished from the internet completely, uncovered in another video. It becomes apparent that Haley seems to have been building extremely creepy dolls that at night have been recorded moving all on their own. Creepy for sure, but it all escalated when her own kid had to deal with the following encounter. First, one of the toys underneath the bed lit up without any interaction. And then the young girl is seemingly getting grabbed and dragged further underneath the bed. The room has been locked up after that for a few days, until the mother posted this. So I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, people have been asking me, have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared.
the mother lifts the blanket, we see the doll move, which terrified her so much that she left the apartment for a few days after this. They are still investigating what is going on in her home. And we will keep our eyes open, should her profile reappear again, that is. Now we want to take a look at another mysterious recording shared by the channel Fourth Wall. It is said that a security camera, which is mounted on a pole to overlook an old cemetery in Japan, has captured something quite unique this night. The cemetery is notorious for many strange sightings and reports. A security guard noticed that something seemed to be moving on this recording. Of course the footage is not the best, but some say this could be a silhouette, is that so? The staff also shared another clip from a nightly visitor that got spooked off the premises after going for a nightly walk. believes to have captured a spirit here. Really strange to say the least. The following video was captured by a mother who was out with her little one to take a nice walk in the local forest. What happened then can only be described as an extremely terrifying encounter. You say hi? No? You don't want to say hi? What was that? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? What the hell? Hey you, come on, let's get out of here. So I'm still walking this trail and I keep hearing that same scream. Here it is again. This is so freaking crazy. I can't even imagine what it could be. Like, it's definitely not a bird or some kind of animal. What the hell? And I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but that definitely sounds louder. So I am pretty sure that whatever the is is getting a lot closer Ugh. okay so i'm way farther down the trail and that screaming is definitely getting way louder and way closer the mother states that she believes that these sounds were stemming from a wendigo or a skinwalker and that she isn't planning on returning to these woods anytime soon could she be right or was this all just an act This case has been shared by Yeti Bronzo, who states that he and a few colleagues are working the night shift in a pretty old hotel. They hear and see some pretty unsettling things in the guest rooms ever so often. Okay. No one here, no phone calls. 
I'm out. This is weird. But even the elevator seems to inhabit some ghostly activity. Nobody was there at the time, so was this a ghost voice? One evening, no one's calling. Cold no one's girl here. Fieri had captured Everything's something done. even more unsettling in the same room. She was just cleaning it out and preparing it for new furnitures with a colleague. And nobody else was staying on this yeah, floor. Okay. This is I felt bad. Yeah, but how do you <laughs> up the stairs? I know, but I mean, I, oh, I felt bad, but I'll... Like, no, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. <laughs> Can you hold it? I'm gonna clean it real quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, so my sister, she graduates in two days. And I asked for the whole weekend off yeah. because... Here? In this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like personally it would look better in this area. There's just too much backlight. There's like not enough good. I don't know. That's true. But I mean, you can see if someone's trying to like break into your room. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. Weirdo. <laughs> there is a dark silhouette reflecting in the mirror, which then only seconds later seems to have vanished. which makes the staff believe that this room might indeed be haunted by a former resident. Spooky for sure.